Amen. Hi, Facebook family. This is Prophetess Lisa McIntosh coming to you live. Well, some of you will get it as a recording, but, um, you know, my motto is to never come on here to speak a word unless God has given me a word. I know in these times you're hearing a lot of different prophets saying this and that and the other, and the Bible says, try the spirit by the spirit to see if it's the word of God, meaning that if there's a prophetic word that will come to you, uh, you will see it come to pass. Amen. To stay in prayer about it and watch the manifestations of God bring it forth in the natural. Amen. Okay, so this is what the Lord gave me as of 1227. He said, this is upcoming year. You will see small businesses, small banks having financial problems because people are exhausting their 401ks depleting their savings accounts, IRAs, and uh, investments because we know that we're in tough times. And the way that the banks are f function and operate is when they have people's money in there. We have never seen such a time of recession like we have now. We're, we're seeing it more and more. What God is telling the people of God is to trust in Him. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So what we're going to see in this season coming up, you're going to see some of the smaller banks who didn't, who decided, well, you know, we'll, we want to be covered by FDIC, but we don't. What is the FDIC? FDIC, because a lot of people put their banks in uh, accounts and don't even know what FDIC means. None, I didn't even check it, you know, um, to see. I just put it in there because it was... The bank that I am affiliated with is um, a military uh, financial institution. So I felt like, well, they're taking care of the service members. It must be okay. But FET, uh, FDIC is an independent agency credited by Congress to maintain, listen, to maintain stability and public confidence in the nation's financial system. The nation's financial system, which we know that that system, financial system in America, we know that is it is um, being tested and it's being tried and is uh, having some problems with it now. We have to put our trust in, in God as believers because it says in Deuteronomy chapter 28, he said, we are blessed coming in and blessed going out from this side forward. So we know that there's blessings according to Deuteronomy chapter 28. So if you're in a small bank and you've been with that bank, oh, I've been with this bank for years. My money is trusted in there. Get you a statement. See see if there's any uh, dividends been added. See if there's been extra money distracted from it. You have to, a lot of times we don't check our, check our bank statements. And then some people check their bank statements for everything. But you want to, in this season, upcoming season, particularly there's going to, you're going to feel some rocking. There's going to, everybody, the economy is going to feel some really rocky times around between January and March. Really rocky times. Those, between those periods of time is when you're going to see uh, banks just fold, folding over. And you're like, no, surely not a real bank. But yes, you will see some of the smaller banks, financial inter institutions, um, folding over. And it's important that you get into a financial institution, check out returns, check out how your money is going to be secured, see if it's covered by the FDIC um, for, for if anything happens that you're with your money, that your money will be secure as much as possible. But it can never be as secure as if it's in with God, the hands of God. Amen. Some of you guys been banking for at some of your banks for several years, and you're just like, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Oh, no, oh, no. But it's important to hear the word of the Lord and to adjust your thinking. Amen? I'll, I'll give you an example. Um, when I moved back here to Nebraska, I had a, my mom had signed for me. Well, this was before I came back. She had signed for me a, a car years ago. And uh, we went through a particular uh, financial institution. Well, I, I, I couldn't put my finger on it right away, but my mom kept saying there's money that is missing out of her account. And she said, I know I paid the, the car note because you sent me the money and I paid the car note. I said, Mom, you know what? Pray about that. I said, I feel something in my spirit not right about 
what's going on because it started happening to her several times double payments coming out and my mom god rest her soul was the type that didn't try to just move things you know um around too much she didn't like to get in deep with a lot of people but she said something's wrong so I sold it, called, and they gave her some kind of bogus answer. Well, in my prayer time, the Holy Spirit was showing me that they were, with certain senior citizens, that they were gouging parts of their funding, funding out of their accounts to fund their trips, their golf trips, and this, that, and the other. So I called my mom and I told my mom, I said, Mom, you need to move your money up out of that bank as soon as possible. Oh, my mom, you know, she was an older lady. She's like, oh, I like this bank. It's close to home. I don't have to go home. I said, Mom, move your money out of that bank because it's getting ready to belly up. It's getting ready to belly up. I said, because God does not like what they are doing to you and to other elderly people. It's going to go belly up. Well, it went belly up. So <laughs> it went belly up. They had to end up uh, exchanging hands to another, I won't call the name, they had to exchange hands to another uh, partnership, and they, are com they completely went belly up. And you know, you, the Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. You can't do people of God wrong without it being some type of judgment or uh, something that's repercussion that will come back from it. And I, I want to... Make a, I told you guys, I want, so that's the word of the Lord, is that if you have your money in a small banking financial institution, is small banking wrong? No, it's not. But it's not always the best during these time of economic uh, downfalls and uh, spills that are going on. You need to contact um, someone in your local bank and ask them, how is COVID affecting my money and my deposits, what's going on? You can ask questions. You need to ask questions. Is my money secure? I need to know if my money is secure. Is it secured by FDIC? And mainly, you better have God, amen, to secure your money because he has a cattle of a thousand hills, meaning that everything belongs to him and he knows uh, what's best for you, amen. And with that being said, I am going to start... Um, live. I'm going to start doing live uh, or maybe be some recorded. I'm going to start doing some lessons. I um, uh, have a couple of other broadcasts and podcasts that are going on right now and they are reaching the globe for the gospel. For the gospel's sake it's reaching the globe, international and around the world to God be the glory. God is moving like never before so get in on it. And you can find me on Lady Z, a Lady Z on Spotify, Anchor, iTunes, uh, um, Napster, no, 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 uh, over uh, Radio Public, Overcast. There's so many of them on there, and it's Lady Z. Now, when you go on there, um, you will see several several Lady Zs. But you'll see mine is Lisa J. McIntosh. Type that in Lisa L I S A J like Judy McIntosh M C I N T O S H, and uh, you will be able to um, upload. I mean, you'll be able to time in what God is saying right now. Some very healthy lessons on love, uh, on fear, overcoming fear. Um, also, marriages. You can hear about marriages. Um, people that I've interviewed and who have been married 35 years and over, the trials, but then the testimonies that they have for endurance. We talk to people about getting healed. We talk about people um, having the right mindset during these COVID times, and it's some tough times. Amen. And with that being said, I am here to also plug my, and this is just a little, it's kind of like a little flyer. I got a new book that will be released in the next within the next week or two. It's called The War in My Mind to the Place of Deliverance. And I will be doing some things on YouTube um, um, to kind of just give you some background information about it without going deep into the book because I want you to read it yourself and get the revelation of it from yourself. But it talk, talks about 
dealing with mental strongholds in your mind, things 